Good day and welcome back to my sad little channel. I don't know if you saw one of my previous videos, if not, I'll link to it above. I bought the Leica Q2. Crazy little spur of the moment thing, a uh, little bit of a head rush. Killed it 14 days later. Check the video out. So while it's away for four months getting repaired, I replaced it with a used, battered, bruised Leica Q. And this little baby, I got it quite cheap. It was dropped at some point in its life and the rear LCD just doesn't work, won't have it at all. You can use the menu system, use everything else via the EVF. It's got a little mark in the EVF, like a little watermark or some sort of discoloration. Doesn't affect the photographs whatsoever. Now, like a fool, the first mistake I made with the Leica Q was I thought, I'm a bit clever here. I just wonder if it's in the menu system, if it's been set onto EVF only. So I thought, right, go into the system and set it for LCD only, which was a good idea up there until I realized, shit, I've done that. The LCD definitely doesn't work. Now I can't see in the EVF. How the hell do I get them back? So uh, I had to search out the menu sequence for the page numbers and a lot of luck and a little bit of judgment. And I finally got, after about six hours of messing about and poncing about, I finally got the EVF back on. I won't do that again. I contacted the seller actually who sold me this, told him what I'd done. And he said, mate, he said, I did exactly the same thing. One thing I have noticed straight away about the Q, there's quite a bit of dust on the sensor. Shooting wide open, no issues whatsoever, but shooting a sort of F8, F11, F16, you can see the dust quite noticeably, unfortunately. Uh, so what I've done, I've taped up, I don't know if you can see that, but I've taped up the microphone ports inlets, and because that is, that is probably where the dust has got to the sensor from. So other than that, the camera is a little beauty. It's a doozy. Now with the Q2, I, I was concerned, right from the off, I was concerned at the, the noise, massive amounts of noise at ISO 3200 and beyond. And it, was, it, it wasn't good, not at all. I've tried the Q at high ISOs, no problems, no issues at all, no excess noise, it's, just, it's fine. So it's just making me wonder if the Q2 that I bought had a bit of a dicky sensor in the first place and the laser strike just finished it off, I don't know. Leica, Wetzler. In Germany, they'll check that out and let me know. Hopefully, it could be covered under warranty, who knows. In the meantime, the Q2 is dead. Long live the Q. So this is just a little bit of a video, guys, about my first impressions of this camera. Can't fault it. Beautiful image quality out of it, and it, it just it just fills apart. I've put this funky little strap on that I uh, salvaged from an X300 film camera, and it looks pretty funky. I don't know if it'll stay on forever, but for now, it's cool. Guys, so that's it. So this is just a little bit of a clip of my first ever shoot with the Leica Q. It just finished work yesterday. Looked at the sky, it was starting to look quite funky out there, so I thought we're in, we're in for a bit of a sunset here. So I raced up to the coast. Hope you enjoy. Just a quick one. Until next time, catch you later. It's gonna go off. 